In our last episode, Tropical Storm Nicole paid us a visit. It was a pretty nasty storm and sunk a few sailboats nearby. We took a trip out to an anchorage and dove on one of the sailboats, but the visibility was really bad, so we wanted to wait to go back to when we could see a little better. Um, for the most part, it looks like they're done and everything looks good. I mean, it is what it is. You kind of have a little limited space back here. The sailboat is all about sacrificing almost everything so you can sail. Except for that burnt one. Let's not look at that. Back at the wreck uh, today. Envisions over there. I'm trying to get a better look today to see what sunk this boat. Why did it sink? Is there a hole in the side of it? Is something leaking? I mean, I can't, it's not my boat. I can't be too intrusive, but then again, it's on the bottom. And the water is clearer today because it's a little bit, it's like another week or two later. So it's easier to see. I'm a little worried about Susie. I thought I was gonna have to go on a rescue mission for a second there, but she got it figured out and she's coming back now. We have about maybe like eight or 10 knots today um, out here. And that's just enough with the little waves and stuff to where it's, um, you know, it's not as easy as a nice calm bay to be out here on a paddleboard. You drift pretty quickly when you stop moving. Sticking the selfie stick in. I thought today would be a perfect day for paddleboarding because we're both off and uh, Jason and I wanted to come and check this wreckage out some more and see what lies below. It's extra windy today and wavy and I'm starting to think this wasn't such a great idea. Got it? Oh god. I can see a lot better. I can see it.
This will be the last time I dive without a knife. I've been snorkeling for a long time, but imagine if this would have happened and I would have been deeper underwater. I got one foot untangled. Let me try and do the other one. I can't break it. It's too strong. Funny, you, you think like this probably doesn't look like a big deal because you're just sitting here, but when you're under there and something gets wrapped around your foot, it's a little bit freaky, you know. dinghies. Well, when we bought Not Enough, our Catalina 22, I had to buy a dinghy because we had to get to shore the first overnight bringing it home. And then also we kept it out at anchor, so we had to paddle out to it every time we wanted to use the sailboat. That really stunk, but that little dinghy went on camping trips with us and got pulled up on the shore and scraped against shells and rocks for a long time. It was a cheap little thing that was only like $150. Nowadays, it might be closer to $300. Now we'll barely use a dinghy, but we need something better, especially for our trip to the Keys. And we need a motor. These little motors aren't very high quality, but they're like less than a third of the price of a name brand motor. First thing to do is replace the fuel lines with something better, change the spark plugs, and then add some gear lube to the gearbox. They don't have a transmission if you need to go in reverse, you just spin the motor around. My back hurts already, and all I've done is open the box. Did you sit on? See, this dinghy has a, a nice transom with the drain plug. It doesn't screw in, it just pushes in. That's kind of weird. But, um, you know, it has like the, the all the markings that you need and a serial number on it so you can register it and get boat numbers and uh, floor slats so you can stand in there when you're getting in. It also has the same kind of air valves as a paddleboard does. This will be fine for us. We will barely ever use this, but uh, when we need to, it's small, it'll fit on our deck of our boat, of our sailboat, and uh, hopefully it's just a little bit better quality. Um, these boats are something like around $700, but they're on sale for around 500 sometimes. This outboard only weighs like 20 pounds, so it's super, super light, easy to handle. Oh, 